So let us continue with our example. When we first prepared the journal, this were, these were the transactions. Capital introduced, cash was deposited into bank, truck was purchased, withdrawn from bank, etc. etc. Based on this, we had prepared a journal. And from the journal, this is a journal. Yeah, from the journal, we had posted to the ledger. And we will now look at the ledger accounts from which we are going to draw the trial balance. Say for example, this is the cash book. We had cash book debit side, debit what comes in. So debit was all receipts of cash. We had on account of capital 3 lakh, withdrawn from bank 3000 on account of sales 20,000. And cash was used, money was deposited into the bank, vehicle was purchased, amount was withdrawn by the owner on account of purchases, paid to Bhola, telephone charges, salary was paid and we had a balance of 1,78,500. Now what is this balance? This balance, balance carried down 1,78,500 is a debit balance. Why is it a debit balance? Because this indicates when I place this, when we place this balance on the credit side, it indicates that the debit side is more and this is only a balancing act. Balance brought down. See, this is a debit balance. So cash has a debit balance. Therefore, a trial balance is prepared something like this. The nature of an account, cash, and we have debit balance of 1,78,500. There is also a small column for a ledger folio. So this cash account in the ledger. See this is in the books of. In the books of whoever. Whichever businesses books we are preparing. It is entirely a ledger. Which has what is a ledger? A ledger is a book containing the entire set of accounts. In the ledger we have a cash account. This may be on page 1. Capital account may be on page 10. The reference is put here. Maybe cash is 1 and capital is 10. That is the ledger folio reference, LF. So normally, the, 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 the columns in case of a trial balance, we may have a serial number just to number the num or num accounts. We have the name of the account, cash, capital, whatever. Then we have a ledger folio so that we can trace back in case of errors, we can check from where the balance was correctly brought forward and whether it was correctly brought forward. Debit balance and a credit balance. So in this case, 1,78,500 has been posted. Debit balance of 1,78,500. Next, we see the capital account. When we look at the capital account, we see it has a credit balance. Mind you, this indicates a credit balance because credit side is more. So this 3 lakh is the credit balance. So capital 3 lakh. This is how we go about preparing a trial balance. What were the other accounts we had? We had cash, we had capital, we had bank. What is the bank balance? Bank balance is 1 lakh 1,500. I repeat, it is a debit balance. Debit balance, this indicates debit side is more. Bank 1 lakh 1,500. Cash was already 1 lakh 78,500. 3 lakh, now you have 1 lakh 1,500. What about vehicle? Vehicle again, balance brought down 90,000. 90,000. Debit balance. Drawings account. Debit balance. Balance carried down. Debit side is more. 5,000. Bank loan. Bank loan. Credit side is more. 90,000, bank loan, 90,000, purchases account, purchases account, balance, 36,000, 36,000, debit, is it a debit balance? Yes, it's a debit balance, buy balance carried down here means the debit side is more, so you see, we, in the next period, next month, we have taken it forward on the debit side, let's look at Bola's account. Bola's account 
Two balance carried down is 2500. That means this is a credit balance. This is a credit balance. Bola's account 2500. But just to understand, what does Bola's account here represent? There was a purchase of 6000, payments made 3000 and discount 500. So there is still a balance to be settled 2500. So what is Bola's account? Bola is actually the person from whom we purchased on credit. This is a creditor account. It is a creditor account. Credit balance means there is a liability to pay Bola. So if you notice cash is an asset, bank is an asset, vehicle is an asset, drawings is an asset because it is a receivable, purchase account is an expense. On the other side, if you look at the credit side, we have capital, credit, we have bank loan, liability, BOLA, a creditor account. There were other accounts. Yes, there is discount received. Discount received income logically should be a credit balance. Let's see. Yes, it's 500. Credit, discount received, 500. Sales, similarly, again, credit balance, 40,000. Credit balance. Why is it a credit balance? Because the credit side is more. <clears throat> Next, you have Ramesh's account. Ramesh's account, what is the balance? 10,000. This is a debit balance, 10,000. We had some more accounts. Discount allowed. Discount allowed, 500. Debit balance, 500. Salaries, 13,000. Debit balance, 13,000. Telephone charges, Debit balance, 500. Interest received, this is a credit balance. Interest received, 2,000. Now if we total up the trial balance, it is tallied. So arithmetically, our posting, our casting, casting is what? Totaling of an account is called casting. Was correct. Our posting, casting. Uh, this is ensures the arithmetical accuracy of the transactions that we had recorded first in the journal and then posted to the ledger. Once more, I'd like to emphasize that when we prepare a trial balance, if we notice what consists of the debit balance, if we take our accounting equation, assets and expenses, assets and expenses have debit balances. Assets and expenses have debit balances. Incomes and liabilities have credit balance. Let us just check whether that, is, that logic holds good. Say for example, cash is an asset, debit balance. I'm looking at only the debit balance. Debit balance should be asset or expense. Asset or expense. Next, we have bank account. Again, asset receivable from bank. Bank, it is possible that it could also be a credit balance if we withdraw more money from the bank than we have deposited. That is a case of a bank overdraft. Vehicle, vehicle is an asset, debit balance. Next is drawings. Drawings is an asset because it is receivable from the proprietor. What is a drawings account? Drawings account when money is withdrawn by the proprietor from the business, we call it drawings account. We don't take it to capital. So capital is a liability of the business, whereas drawings is the money that the proprietor has withdrawn and therefore the proprietor owes to the business. <clears throat> what is the other? Purchases. Purchases is an expense account. Next debit we have is 10,000. Ramesh was a debtor account, debtor receivable. We sold goods to Ramesh. Money is to be received from him. Therefore, it's an asset. Discount allowed is an expense. Salary account is an expense. Telephone charges is an expense. Let us look at the liability side. Uh, sorry, credit side. It will either be liability or it will be income. First, 3 lakh is what? Capital. What is this? Liability. Liability of the business to the proprietor. We call it liability or we often refer to it as simply capital. Next balance is 90,000. Bank loan is a liability. Bank loan is a liability. 2,500 Bola. Bola is a liability. We owe, we have, we purchase goods from Bola and need to pay 
होना liability to pay discount received is an income is an income is an income sales is an income what else anything else yes there is 2000 interest received is also an income so all assets and expenses have debit balances liabilities and incomes have credit balances this is how the trial balance trial balance will look trial balance as on a particular date i repeat this is relevant on a particular date maybe that was 31st first it is relevant on a particular date so trial balance is always as at so and so date or as on so and so date you don't have a trial balance for a period you have trial balance on a particular date because the very next day many of these balances can change so the first one is just a reference a serial number next is the name of the account the ledger folio what is this ledger folio what does the ledger folio represent the page number folio is the page number page number from which this account balance was drawn the page number in the ledger from which this balance is taken then you have debit balance and you have credit balance total should agree if we have done the posting casting correctly the total debit and credit total in a trial balance will tally will agree this is balances were taken this is the balance method the other method is to take the total total of the account balance not very popular there too the debit and credit will tally but it doesn't really give us much information for example in the cash account the total of the debit side was 323000 and the credit side total was 144500 the difference what gave us the balance which is with what we prepared the trial balance under the balance method similarly capital did not have anything on the debit side the credit total was 3 lakh so this has a totals of the accounts the debit total and the credit side total not very popular does not give us a summary of the account balances like we get in case of the balance method <clears throat> another is a combination method total and balance method under this same thing you have extra two columns actually it's a combination of both so you have a serial number the name of the account ledger folio the debit balance and the credit balance also total debit and the total credit difference of these two gives you the balance here if the debit side is more it will give you a debit balance if the credit side is more it gives you a credit balance this is a third method of preparing the trial balance 